not a detour, but there's a continuation after this. And then I think the other day it was about God's greater plan for us, about his plan for Peter. You're not a fisherman of man, fisherman of fish, but a fisherman of man. And I hope God will use me in that, uh, in that area. I think there's some greater plan for us, for me and Fidel, to go to Hawaii. And uh, the Lord has been good to me all the time. It will take a while to answer prayers, but I always... Uh, I, I don't. The only the only time that I ask you why me is that I, some of you probably didn't know about it that we lost our first child. I always tell God I've been a good daughter, a good good uh, person. I, I hope and a good uh, a good wife. And the first son we have we had uh, Frederick Anthony died. But uh, after that, uh, I think my strong faith in God that uh, make me through it. All, uh, all through these years, and of course we have Brian, that's why I think, always thank Fidel the, that I married him because I have Brian also. <laughs> <laughs> Although sometimes I ask, why me? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so uh, please pray for us and pray for Brian, and uh, what else? Uh, I, I hate fairy real. in fact, I, oh, I told Fidel and Raul, and I said, I don't like you know going away parties, because we don't really have going away parties or anything, even, we're military, and we say, we'll see you again. And it's, it's true. Fidel will tell me, I see this family, I see the, this family, I always see uh, those family again. And I hope it will be the same thing here, that we will see you again. And then I hope I still be a member of your, uh, of, the, of, of the church. And I hope I won't be an ex-member. I hope I'm always be a member. And thank you very much for your support, for your love, and for your prayers. And I hope you continue to pray for Brian and for us. Thank you very much. And we'll do the same thing for you guys. My turn. Uh, yes, it's it's getting long, but I I also want to reiterate what Vicky said that uh, the Lord brought us here. We did not know what Virginia, D.C. is like. We know it's traffic like Japan, you know. But um, as we look upon why the Lord did it, it's because He wanted us to open our heart for Him. And I really am, I'm, I'm rejoicing that maybe down the road, like Vicky said, that there's plans for us. But I'm also, in, in, uh, I'm, I'm hurting because I'm leaving the church. The, the church that has given me new life. You know, as Vicky said, Pastor Charlie and everybody else that was in here before uh, brought us here. And uh, I never stopped growing since then. In fact, uh, Brother Jake and I were talking today. And, uh, you know, I did. Jake never knew what my background was, or even last week when I was talking to him, he never knew what my former life was. Uh, I think a lot of you already know what my former life is, but uh, it's not the best, it's not something that you can boast about. But uh, again, the Lord has given us uh, everything, and when we, when we think of it as if just you doing all that, because you're either you're talented, you're smart, you have all the skills, you think you did it all. And when you're not a Christian, you think that, uh, yeah, I'm the best, you know, I got promoted ahead of my peers. And, you know, sometimes the Lord brings you down at, or humble you. And I think when I came here was my, the, the humble uh, revealance of, of, of what it is to be a Christian when I came here. Because the Lord said, you know, it is my, it's, it's my, not yours, that I've given you all this blessing. All the, all the, all your house, your, 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 your family, your, um, your income, everything that's given to us was because God loved us. And I never stopped thinking about that since I came here and accepted Christ. And again, I really don't want to leave. You know, I, I, I'm not going to have tears in my eyes, but because we know down the road, we're all going to see each other again, right? Amen. And it's, it, it, it can be somewhere else. But ultimately, it's up there, right? We're all going to see each other up there. And all I can say is that um, I think everybody here has each a role in being a Christian. I think each of us here sitting here and all those that are not here, we all have a role. I remember uh, preparing for a class one day and I think God opened my, my mind on this one. You know that um, you need to serve the Lord. You know, he, he told me, you need to teach or you need to facilitate that's how i ended up with bible study you know i mean the bible study uh, uh 
facilitating did come to me because I wanted to. I think the Lord spoke to my heart and said that you need to grow, Fidel. You need to grow. And I'm going to help you grow. And what he did to me was uh, help me grow by, by preparing to be the facilitator for the Sunday school class. The Sunday school class, you know, I, I don't want to give it up. You know, I know Brother Eric's going to step up to the plate. You can still stay. And <laughs> in fact, uh, the Lord, like I said, as I alluded to earlier, uh, He has plans for each and every one of us here. And we got we to gotta make sure that we do not lose focus in what, why, why we're here in this world. And because of what Jesus Christ did for us, we got to make sure that we understand that. That uh, you know, God gave His only begotten Son to die for our sin, and whenever we sin, you know, it's it's for me as a as a human being, it's hard not to sin. But I know I I've, I've sinned. We all have sinned. But if we ask for uh, forgiveness and um, and uh, the Lord helping us to live through that whatever issue challenge that come to your life, I think uh, He will help us. You know, there's turmoils in the church, there are tur turmoils in your job, but if you look on, on Jesus as our Savior and our, 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 the one that we turn to, I think He will give us the guidance and, and what we need to do to move on. Again, uh, I know it's getting long, but uh, because I know this is going to be the last time you guys can see me up here singing or talking, but uh, I'm going to make the most out of it. So, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> So, uh, yeah. Uh, I was I was looking at Pastor when he pulled out his uh, his PDA, and I said, "Whoa, the Lord can text now." <laughs> but uh, the technology has broadened our uh, our uh, growth in, in in understanding the Lord because when we were in the Philippines two years ago or three no four years ago, two thousand five, we or I forgot what year it was. We started a uh, brother in Christ. Now, this is another testimony that I'm going to share with you, how the Lord helped me grow. Because the people that was with us on that Bible, there were seven of them. And guess who they were? They were my drinking buddies with my former life. So you can see how the Lord works through us. You know, I guess he used me to talk to these guys to say, hey guys, it's never too late. I'm 40 some years old and I, I found Christ. And I used to be the one promoting, let's go drinking, let's go gambling, and all that stuff that uh, that was my former life. But when the Lord works and the Holy Spirit comes into you, I think He uses us, each and every one of us, like I said, He uses all of us to reach out to those that might uh, need to learn the Word of God. Because uh, we, we know we can be challenged. You know in this church and any other church, there's challenges. There's, uh, Satan is always attacking us. He's going to bring down issues to the church. And they're going to make you uh, enemies of each other. In fact, they said that the church are the worst when it comes to that. But we always got to keep our guards up. We can't keep our guards down. And what the Lord told me to do is, Fidel, you need to, you need to read the Bible and listen to the words. Or, and also teach class. Because <laughs> that's how I'm learning is preparing for the class. I mean, I can share this with you guys because it's this is what the Lord gave to me, is to say I'm gonna teach. But I didn't really wanna teach, but he told me, go ahead and teach. And I've been teaching since even before he came here, right? Or when you were, when, he, when when pastor came here. But again, uh, I love this church. I love the people in this church. And most of all, of course, we love God and Jesus Christ, right? And all I can ask is that we continue to keep in touch with each other. And I will send out email. I will send out uh, our forwarding address. And, yeah, and the Facebook. I'm in Facebook now. <laughs> Woohoo! At first, I was, you know, this Facebook, you know, I, at first I just said, not another not a blog site. Because I've had Multiply.com. I've got, I, I joined the Twitter. And then here comes Facebook. But I noticed in Facebook, it's where you reach out to uh, others also. You know, there's even the, the, the Secretary of the Army, I mean, uh, what is it, Ro? The uh, Chief of, Chairman Chief of Staff has a Facebook account. You know? So, why not have an account? <laughs> I know Vicky doesn't like it. <laughs> 
She doesn't like to do those things because, you know, she doesn't want to show off our pictures and all that.